Hello, friends. Please welcome our first major update of 2022, Wind of Change. It brings improved visual effects, several long-awaited vehicles, and a brand new tech tree. And speaking of wind, the breezes that started blowing in War Thunder last year have become even more realistic. Gusts now have a unique impact on the environment in various areas of the map. Rustling grasses and trees, as well as ripples on the water, are now all in sync. And when nature gets quiet, players themselves can break the calm with their bombs or gunshots. Additionally, you'll be happy to see several new environmental effects. Leaves falling off trees in the forest, dust and rubble around buildings, and sparks from fires. And we haven't forgotten about the vehicles, <laughs> of course. We'll get to the new ones very soon. Please be patient. For those of you who love counting rivets, we have some good news. We now offer 4K textures for all aircraft, tanks, and environments. Would you look at this level of detail? Shooting close-ups has never felt so good. Israel has received a comprehensive ground tech tree. As this nation's armed forces were formed after the end of World War II, its tree starts with rank 4 instead of reserve. The Shermans, the Magachs, the Schotts, and of course the Merkavas are now available to all participants of the closed beta test. You can join in too if you have one of the early access packs containing either the Merkava Mark IId or the M51, or alternatively, by earning 12 tester stars. These can be obtained by completing special tasks. Once the closed beta test is over, anyone who owns a single rank for American, British, French, Soviet or Israeli vehicle will get access to the tech tree. And finally, here come the new vehicles. We've decided to start the show with one of the most requested planes. War Thunder battlefields are now ready for the legendary American Warthog, the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II. Its nose carries a devastating 7-barreled 30mm autocannon, while its hardpoints can deliver a huge arsenal of suspended armament, including guided missiles. The French Mirage family welcomes a new fighter, the F-1C. This version didn't inherit the delta wing of its predecessors, but a powerful engine and numerous hardpoints make it a dangerous opponent for enemy air and ground vehicles alike. The Chinese aircraft tree also has a new top fighter joining its ranks, the Shenyang J-8B. Its design is reminiscent of the MiG-21, but unlike this Soviet machine, the J-8 has two engines. Its suspended armament includes impressive air-to-air -air missiles, conventional bombs, and unguided rockets. Enough to clear up the skies and tease some tankers. Speaking of bombs and missiles, to make navigating these mighty arsenals simpler, we've reworked the Ordnance Selection menu. You can now choose weaponry individually for each hardpoint, forming your own unique loadout from multiple versatile options. You'll also have a few presets from our developers if you need some inspiration. Initially, this system will only be available to the aircraft introduced with this update, but don't worry. It'll come to many existing aircraft, too, a bit later. Let's head down to the ground and take a look at some new tanks. And there's something special about these machines. Please welcome the first tanks in War Thunder equipped with an active protection system. Trophy APS is found on the new top Israeli armored vehicle, the Merkava Mark IV-M. 
The British tree also receives a new top MBT, the Challenger 2 Black Knight, equipped with the Iron Fist APS. And the earliest tank equipped with an active protection system is the Soviet T-55 AMD-1. The German tree is now reinforced with the Puma, a modern IFV capable of forcing through the flanks thanks to a powerful engine and destroying enemy tanks from their sides with a 30mm autocannon. The American skies are now guarded by the LAV-AD, a missile gun air defense complex. It's armed with a 25mm cannon, infrared guided missiles, and even unguided rockets. You heard us right, rockets on an anti-aircraft vehicle. If you like helicopters, you'll love the new Swedish tree with a whole range of them. It's represented by some familiar machines from various nations. Here's a variation of the American Huey, the French Alouette, the German BO-105, and even their own Apache. Now, the seas in War Thunder welcome two new battleships, Arizona and Congo. The American flagship boasts a dozen 356mm guns in four turrets, as well as great armor, while the Japanese vessel comes with a balanced set of weaponry for any enemy and its own scout aircraft. Of course, this is far from the full list of changes and new features. There are many new unique machines in the Israeli ground tree. The super light French ELC BIS, new top German aircraft, and so on. As usual, the full changelog is available on our official website. Please subscribe, enjoy the new vehicles, try out new mechanics, lap up the visuals, and don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments. Good luck!